Hi, this is Madeline from Sonic Bloom. This is the first episode of a four-part mini-series in which we're exploring how we can use the media effects in Ableton Live to generate music. This time we're going to venture into chord generation. In the first episode we checked out how we can generate bass lines in different ways. In the second, increasingly complex melodies. If you haven't seen them yet, I'd recommend you watch them first and then return to this video. I've linked the playlist above. Apart from two MIDI effects, all are available in Live Lite and also earlier versions than Live 11. For expression control, you need Live 11 intro or buff, and for note echo, Live 11 standard or up. Okay, so I'm basically starting with pretty much the same live set and I've replaced the Ambira preset with the Glitchy Roads, which is from a free life pack of mine, which I'm linking below. And we've got the same drum kit, same MIDI clips as well. But I've gotten rid of all the MIDI effects. We're going to start from scratch. So the first thing I'm going to drop in is the pitch and I'm going to set this to an octave up. Then I'm going to take random set the chance to 100%, choices 12 in scale, one is fine, and I think I'm gonna keep this as additive at the moment. And then I'm gonna add the chord preset and we can keep it like this. And then of course we'll need the scale preset and I'm again taking the major one and we're keeping it with C at base or root note. And so what we get then here It's not bad, it's a very simple form of creating chords definitely works. What we can also try is the the other MIDI clips. definitely not bad you can get quite interesting rhythmical results and of course another thing we can add again is the expression control I'm gonna add it behind the chord to make it easier to see what it controls then we can set it to the first one perhaps and we can set it to 65 maybe and 72 so we can add things like 7th and 9th We can also add the arpeggiator, which I would add between random and chords. And then we're going to have to select the chord trigger as the style. And then we can try different rates. We could also try it in front of the random. With different rates. That's a bit hectic, perhaps. Maybe water notes. And at least with this preset, I'd say setting the gate to 100% might be nicer. Or maybe something like 90%. So it's not completely legato. Mm -hmm. 
So that's one way you, how we can have a whole note here in the clip and still get a different rate, you know, shorter notes. And you could also adjust this on the fly. And then another one that we could employ is the note echo, which I would drop right in front of the scale preset. And then I would rather try a longer delay time. Unfortunately, with this one, it just keeps going even if you stop everything, which can be a bit annoying. So that might not always be the best choice. Kind of depends on what you're trying to do. I'm going to take the feedback down. And we can also try something like this. So 3 16th notes or 5 16th notes can be quite nice rhythmically. Turn this off. Well, it still keeps going. And then we can also see if we like the combination of both, but then I probably would like to set the chord trigger to something more relaxed like half notes they can get hectic quite fast if you combine both as you can hear and then of course another media effect that we hadn't looked at at all because I didn't want to make the videos too long is the velocity preset which I'm going to add here right before the scale preset and then if we just take this up a bit this actually goes to 64 so I'm going to take it maybe to 21 so about a third we can randomize the velocity. So here the velocity is 100. And so now we can have a bit of variety. We could also go up half or something. And you can actually hear that. So you can adjust it for how you like it. And of course you can't just use this for chords, the velocity uh, MIDI effect, but also for melodies and bass lines. So maybe let's try this again with uh, different MIDI clips. Of course we can also make things more complex again. So I'm going to 
take this out for now. Take the expression control out as well. I'm going to set this to minus 12. Take no echo out. And then we can add note length in here. And I'm actually going to group this. And we're going to drop another note length in here right away. And this we're going to set to sync. And maybe a quarter note. And this we're setting to note off and sync. And also a quarter note. And let's add the chain. We're going to duplicate this and set the other one to an eighth note each. And I'm also going to create a chain, which is just going to be dry. And then we can listen to the result of this. So if I take this out, play with the length setting, particularly with the first one, but also the second one. So you get different rhythmical patterns this way as well. And then, of course, we could also integrate the other MIDI effects that we've used before. Like we could add the expression control again and map certain parameters so that they change over time. Or we could add the arpeggiator. So I could add it here, set it to chord trigger. Set this to steps. Or we drop it here just right in front of the velocity. So here we, this way we get the pauses again because of the note length. But I think you get the idea. So there's lots of different ways how you can create interesting chord generation effect chains. And in the next and last video, we're going to look at additional ways how we can utilize Ableton Live's features to, you know, Im even improve on things. Like we're going to see how we can generate music altogether, not separately like we've done now, and how we can continue, you know, editing things down so that we can just choose what we like best and what other features there are that we can use to create generative music that is interesting and that gives us great ideas as creative sparks. Let me know if you have any comments below, any questions or maybe suggestions for further tutorials. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.